As we continue to look at former sports stars of tomorrow on this year's NFL Draft, we're going to talk about some prospects on defense. Georgia's Nolan Smith is one of the highest rated linebackers in this year's class. That's probably no surprise to anyone who scouted him in high school. A product of IMG Academy, he is rated as the number one overall player in the 2019 class by 24-7 Sports. Smith, though, knew that wouldn't matter when he got to Georgia. That's why I'm ready to go to college, because the five stars and five stars, four stars, three stars, all that cut out, because it's about who's going to get on the field. When Nolan was being recruited, he wanted coaches to know there's more to him than football, and he liked when recruiters talked to him about off-the-field things. It's more than just football with me. So, like, when they talk to me, they just talk about football. Like, I want to talk about more than just football because I love to live a great life after, after football. Like, I want people to be like, that's a great businessman and not know that hopefully that I play football. That's the goal in my life. You know, I like to say I'm an intelligent person. I sit down and play chess with my coach all the time. And it's, it's just fun. It's just something I like to do. It's no jump. We always say all the time it's just like football. To know that you mentally break someone down just by moving pieces and they sit there and think, it just feel, it feel good on the inside. That's better than winning a pass rush but it's comparable to getting a sack. I just recently got in golf. I've been in golf a lot. It's just to stimulate my mind. Like, I'm not trying to go out there and be a professional golfer. It's just something to do, just to have fun off the field, just to give me something else to do besides football, football, football. Now with two national championship rings, Smith is a likely first round pick. One of the best defensive tackles in this year's draft crop is Clemson's Brian Brzee. Back in 2019, he was a five-star prospect at Damascus High School in Maryland. My mom went to this school, all of her friends that she went to school with, other coaches at this school, and it was just, just the best fit for me. It's where I need to be, and obviously I'm getting everything I need from it. And, you know, if people think I'm not playing tough, tough competition, I'll come out here and show you. Whether it was on the field or at a summer showcase like the opening, Brian consistently proved that he was one of the elite players in the 2020 high school class. I just like to come out here and compete. You know, there's some uh, really talented guys out here, and it's always just fun to come out and just like just work with all these people and uh, get to know all the, the guys that you probably talk to over the internet and get to come out here and really compete with them and you know you know show them that you're just not all about rankings. You can really do something. It's been since freshman year, so I mean, got pretty used to it over time. Um, it's cool. I mean, but like rankings don't show how you play football. So I mean, you still got to go out there and play, and and people aren't going to think you're good just because you're a five star. So you got to go out there and you got to show them. So. As Brian has worked to be the best he can be, his family has always been close by for support. His father, Richie, played offensive line at James Madison, and he also coached Brian in grade school. When Brian was in kindergarten, they had started a little youth football league in Urbana, and I wasn't going to coach. I was on the sidelines just kind of watching. The head coach had quit because his son didn't want to play, so I kind of got thrown into coaching Brian at a young age. I'm glad he, he did it, and it was, uh, I'm glad he played, and there were times, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade that, you know, when summer came around and we didn't get to do things. And we always told Brian, hey, if, if you want to take a year off, feel free to take a year off. We didn't have a problem with that at all. Um, but he continued to play and had a good time with it. Now, you know, between football and basketball, you know, he absolutely loves the sports. You know, just from, from when I wanted or told him that I wanted to play, you know, he was all in for it. And he was, uh, he was, he was always supportive of what I wanted to do. And, you know, it, it was good to have a dad that knew about football. He was able to teach me the basics when I was younger. So, yeah, it was always, it was always good to have him around. There's not a chance um, and I went against some very good guys that, you know, when I was at James Madison, not in high school as much, but not a chance I could have blocked Brian when I was 17 against him now. I mean, the kids are just, they're so much faster and stronger, and Brian's stronger now than I ever was. You know, I think for my size, I'm pretty quick and uh, really powerful, so I think, uh, you know, having a three-tag defensive end that can pass rush pretty well, I think that's kind of rare right now. If Brian Brzee isn't scooped up by a team late in the first round, he probably won't have to wait too long on the draft second day. A little later in the draft, another familiar name we should hear called is DeMarco Hellams from Alabama. During his four years in Tuscaloosa, he developed into a defensive leader for the Crimson Tide, similar to the way he became a key player at DeMatha in the Washington, D.C. area. We really emphasize being blue collar. We're going to outwork people on a daily basis. Uh, guys are going to do things the right way. And year in, year out, guys understand the model. Ever since probably about sixth grade, when I started, you know, really looking at high schools as far as which one I wanted to go to, um, DeMatha was always my top choice, you know, um, guys who uh, came before me, uh, before I was even enrolled at DeMatha, you know, they told me about the program, they told me about guys who were at DeMatha, and uh, overall just about how, how DeMatha uh, just wins. He's a leader on the field, so you have a guy that's that athletic, that smart, that intelligent, 
um, with those physical abilities. He can do so much from the safety position, so much from the wide receiver position, and he can impact the game in a lot of different ways. Helms was actually a two-way player for the Stags, and he enjoyed being a guy who rarely came off the field. I don't like coming off, and I love being on the field. Uh, when you're on the field the entire game, you know that anytime you can make a game-changing play, anytime you can stop a game-changing play, it just makes me feel better as a player to know that I help my team in as many ways as possible. I think he does a fantastic job. Um, you know, it, it's, it's hard to have a, have a kid uh, who plays so many reps and do so many different things, um, but DeMarco handles it well and does, does a really good job. His NFL dream is now about to come true. Look for him to come off the board at some point during the third day of the draft. DeMarco's teammate at Alabama, Eli Ricks, is also going to get selected in this draft. He played at both Modern Day High School and IMG Academy during his prep career. So he was always going up against some of the best high school receivers in the country. Being out there, you got to be on your A game, A play, or it's a touchdown or it's a pick, whatever, whatever position you got. So if you're not in your game, you're going to gonna be embarrassed, basically. Ricks was not only a five-star prospect in the 2020 class, he was also among the top 10 players overall. I'm being that competitiveness, and I'm putting my heart on every play. You know, I'm gonna let you know that when, when I do something, I'm gonna let you know. And uh, you know, I'm coming. You know, I'm real physical. You know, I'm and I'm gonna come at you every play. It's everything at corner. You know that. I mean, that's what it is. You know, you can only do so much uh, to produce to the team. So it's like you gotta win your battle to to produce. So that means a lot to me. Just like his teammate Helms, Ricks would be a nice selection for some team on the third day of the draft. Thanks for checking out Sports Stars of Tomorrow on YouTube. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a like and please subscribe to our channel so you see all of the latest content.